G'day, I'm with uh, Mark Regis here from 3M, application um, engineer, Mark. Uh, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. So I know 3M is synonymous with you know, innovation, you know, they're world's best brands and um, you know, and the thing I like about respirators, and that's what we're looking at here today, is it's such a personal thing, pretty important thing these days. Absolutely. A key thing I always say, what does that first P in PPE stand for? Test. Uh, would be uh, personal? Absolutely. It's got to be right for the person. That's a really important feature because we are all different. Uh, so we've got two respirators here at the moment and you know, again, I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Which one am I choosing? What am I grabbing? Uh, so what are we looking at here today with these two? So what I wanted to highlight here is just a comparison to looking at a product as a speech diaphragm. Yeah. So when yeah. we think about improving communication between co-workers, which is really important. So you're telling me that I can actually communicate with that on my face? It's going to help and improve absolutely compared Fantastic. to... So yeah. let's, let's do yeah. a little demo here. Yeah. So this is a 6500 QL. Yeah. Now this does not have a speech diaphragm. Right. So you can probably understand me a bit muffled yeah i know you, you're wanting something but you're probably gonna have to remove it for me to hear you absolutely okay. and we think yep. about environments that have sometimes yep. background noises yeah. as well yep. so we look at a product that has a speech diaphragm this okay. is the hf 800 sd right. sd for speech diaphragm yep. so hopefully you can hear me a little bit better because of that speech diaphragm compared to a respirator that doesn't. So Not they're one of those is. selection factors that are really important on top of, yes, we need to be protected from a respiratory system point of view, but there are factors yeah. that go into being able to communicate and not introducing other hazards. And I couldn't imagine uh, there'd be too many applications where ideally the person that's wearing it wouldn't want to communicate. <sighs> We're humans, we like to yeah, talk. Yeah. Um, safety reasons, sometimes not for safety reasons, yeah. but it's all important for the worker to be able to have that communication. Because ultimately it's about not taking off the respirator. Yeah. If they are uh, tempted, feel like they need to to communicate, yeah. they're not gonna be protected. So Mark, where am I gonna see these ideally um, suited? What sort of market segment are we looking at here? I mean, obviously if I'm mowing the lawns on a weekend, I'm not gonna be wearing it, but of course I probably can. Um, where are we gonna see this application? We're thinking a lot of heavy industry, yeah. we're thinking mining, we're thinking oil and gas, we're thinking yeah. agriculture. So the two types of filters we have on these different mm -hmm. these products here are actually particulate filters. So thinking yeah. grinding, crushing, sanding, yeah. drilling, welding, a whole range of different applications that are gonna be in a whole bunch of industries. Yeah. As you can tell by the pictures behind Absolutely. us, lots of different places. Fantastic. So if you're looking for a breath of fresh air, reach out to any one of our over 100 locations nationally. The details are below.